John Amos, Patriarch on Good Times and an Emmy nominee for the blockbuster Roots, dies at age 84. Uh, John Amos, who starred as the family patriarch on the hit 1970 sitcom Good Times and earned an Emmy nomination for his role in the seminal 1977 miniseries Roots, has died. He was 84. He died August 21st of natural causes in Los Angeles. Amos's publicist, uh, Belinda Foster, confirmed the news of his death Tuesday. He played James Evans Sr. on Good Times, which featured one of television's first black two-parent families, produced by Norman Lear and co-created by actor Mike Evans, who co-starred in All in the Family and the Jeffersons. It ran from 1974 to 1979 on CBS. That show was the closest depiction in reality to life as an African-American family living in those circumstances. It could be Amos told Time Magazine in 2021. Among Amos, uh, Amos film credits were Let's Do It Again with Bill Cosby and Sidney Poitier, uh, Coming to America with Eddie Murphy and its 2021 sequel, Die, and 21 and sequel, Die Hard 2, Medea's Witness Protection, and Uncut Gems with Adam Sandler. Oh, man, Uncut Gems with Adam yep. Sandler. I need to... I'll have to, I'm going to have to sit down and watch it with you on one of your Mondays if I get a chance because that's a... Uh, <laughs> I want to see a reaction to that movie. <laughs> if you have not seen it, I don't know. Uh, he was Ice Cube and Doctor Dre. He was in Ice Cube and Doctor Dre's 1994 video, "Natural Born Killers." Amos Good Time character, Good Times character with wife Florida, played by Esther Rowley, originated on another Lear show, Maud. James Evans often worked two manual labor jobs to support his family that included three children, with Jimmy Walker becoming a breakout star as the oldest son, JJ. He's the one they say Dino Might, right? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. D take a look at the, the private chat, a, yes. a comment that would uh, uh, be of interest. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Uh, this is, uh, should I read this on the air? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, he asked that when he died to hold off reporting it to the public for a few days so his daughter could, couldn't make a circus out of it. Oh wow. wow, that says something about him and his uh, relationship with his daughter. Yikes! I'm so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm just reading as it's reported. I guess we're okay to talk about it now, right? But um, that is interesting though because um, I think that can be a concern for um, especially someone with with uh, notoriety, celebrity. Um, usually, you, you, you see there's an announcement made. We're asking, you know, for privacy, for so we can more da, 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 da. But yeah, I guess it is possible that somebody in the family might be a little bit more. Oh, come give me attention, you know. Yikes! Well, I don't know anything about that, but uh, I wish his family well, regardless. I, you know, it's hard to Absolutely. lose your dad. Um, such was the show's impact with Led Leisha Keys, Rick Ross, and the Wu Tang Clang among the musicians who name checked Amos as a character for his for his uh, lyrics. Many fans consider him their TV father. His son Kelly, Chris Rama said in a statement, "He lived a good life. His legacy will live on in his outstanding works in television and film as an actor. My father loved working as an actor, though his entire life he was my dad, my best friend, and my hero." Uh, yeah. So. Um, I, yeah. uh, I would also say that, you know, without getting into too much of the behind the scenes of, 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 of the TV show, um, you could kind of see, even back then in the 70s, um, I feel like the way they treated him, not on the show, not in the story, but behind the scenes, mm. uh, you could almost see the, um, the the lessening of the priority of the male role model in the family dynamic if if, if you take my meaning hmm interesting but uh, uh, he, she liked him on the fresh prince as will smith's girlfriend's dad oh that's interesting oh my goodness that's right yes he was also in die hard too yeah mentioned that he was. I almost said Coming to America, and then it said, and it's sequel, and then I see Die Hard 2, and it's like, was Die Hard 2 a sequel to Coming to America? <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think he was a father figure to a lot of people, um, yeah. a lot of these things were. And be, let's be honest, I grew up with Bill Cosby, and granted, he doesn't have the best reputation now, but I thought that show was still a favorite of mine to watch when I was Yeah, and up. again, yeah. I, I, I really... Uh, would encourage people to, uh, especially in situations like this, kind of separate the the art from the artist. Yes, and 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 realize that, you know, 
whatever you think, for example, you, you brought Bill Cosby, whatever you think of Bill Cosby yeah. and who he was behind the scenes and so forth, really look at that show and his character. Um, that was a very positive role model uh, of a father for a whole generation. And I, I mean that full stop. I am not qualifying that and saying of any particular race, creed, or color. Yeah. Uh, like a plus size. I missed him when he was uh, when he, CBS fired him. Good, good times. Show was not the same. Yeah, the article goes on to talk That's a little bit about this. Alluding to, yeah, yeah, saying it was mutual. I mean, he was basically saying, but I think he was saying too that some of the writers were not being accurate. I guess made of the realities of black families and some of the writing choices they made. Which you know, to be fair, he he know more than me. I'm going to say that, but yeah. and probably the writers. But uh, again, I don't know what was going on behind the scenes though. Uh, what did I want to make a point about though? About uh, Cosby Show. You know what got me angry when the whole Cosby scandal thing mm. was unfolding, right? What's that? You you had this one of the former actors from the Cosby Show. That, oh look, he has a job at Trader Joe's, and I'm like, yeah, because he can't live on the residuals of the show anymore because nobody wants to air it, and he has to get a job. And at least he's you know it's an honest job working at Trader Joe's. Don't make yeah. fun of him. And it's it's like and you're you you and the media were the ones that chalked this whole thing up. So right. I that kind of disgusted me when I like that. You know, fine if you want to tear Cosby down because you got this stuff on him. Well, door. and don't, and don't you, pick on one of the actresses. He had to get a because he had to get a regular job. It's ridiculous. And look, and you know how I am about all of these things. Um, and I like will. It's a horrible I will, thing to work at Trader Joe's. I will to go to. I yeah. will go toe to toe with even all of you guys in the chat. Um, I am a purist about believing that you are innocent until proven guilty. And I have no stomach for people who come up and bring up charges. I don't care how horrible these charges are. If you don't bring them up at the time the crime happens I know. and you these don't have proof. After the fact. I'm just saying, you know, innocent until proven guilty. But uh, rest in peace, John Amos. I'm sure his uh, good times is streaming on something, probably on Pluto or Tubi or something. I'm sure it's there uh gary coleman too oh boy gary coleman i remember he used to watch different strokes but that's a topic for another time i do remember <laughs> though when i was young i don't remember exactly what his did he have a form of dwarfism or was it another kind of uh uh i don't problem? i don't know i my mother knew uh, she had read what it was and she, she was a nurse practitioner. Yeah. So she kind of knew she understood it. And she's like, that's tough. This kid's going to, going to have a rough life and it's not going to be a long one. And sure enough, he died really young. And I was like, I remembered my mom saying that all those years before. Uh, good time streaming on Tubi. There you go. There you go. You can catch him. Uh, Gary Coleman and liver disease that stunted his growth. Yikes. Okay, so his, stunt, his growth was. was stunted. That's what I thought. Um, and my yeah. mom had speculated. She said even if he get got himself, uh, if they were able to get him a, uh, a, 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 what do you call it, transplant, said that that's not a long-term solution. And I don't know. She knew a lot more about the medical situation than I did. Coleman was one other one of these poor child stars who had kind of his life ruined. But his, oddly enough, I think it was his parents that took his money and spent yeah. it on everything. Yes. And I think now there are rules in place now because of that. There that are. This stuff has to be put into a Well, there was supposed to be before because yeah. uh, something similar happened back in the, the days of the R Gang. Um, yeah. Uh, what do you call it? But um, oh, Little real Rascals, quick. right. Mm -hmm. I want to say hi to the Clue Channel. Welcome. Welcome. Salute. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, rest in peace. Yeah. And, uh...